Hi, I'm Ben from Sundowner RV. Today we're going to take a brief look at our hilltop, bare the top 19 foot 6 rear door. Rear door meaning that on this particular model we've got the door behind the wheels and on our mid door we have the door in front of the wheels. So this is a really popular model and I suppose the big difference here is that you're not walking in right to the bed area. All right. So um, as standard on all of our hilltops, we've got the picnic table with the light on it on the outside, light up here. We've got external speakers, connections for the TV and two USB charging points. Um, that's our 240 volt out. So if we want to use the toaster or the kettle or TV or whatever on here, we've got 240 volts there as long as we've got 240 volts plugged into the caravan on the other side. Um, our Dometic awning and our tunnel boot galvanised sheet protection goes right through, it's got its own light inside the tunnel boot and then also we've got a light up here which is switched from inside the tunnel boot. Just down here we've got our gas bayonet fitting so that's perfect for barbecue either on a slide to come in and out or just a barbecue that you put on a table or whatever outside right here. Um, on the front as you can see we've got our FP chassis 6 inch drawbar two nine kilo gas bottles we've put the spare wheel on the front on this one so we've extended the drawbar a little and mounted the spare wheel, spare wheel on the front and the reason for that is to get some of the weight from the back onto the front to keep our ball weight up and keep the caravan stable for towing now if you want to put a box on the front the spare wheel could come off and that could go back on the back as long as we've got enough weight on the front to keep the caravan well balanced all right let's go and have a look inside just before we do just to um, uh, finish up out here, we've got our 15 inch wheels and we've built this one on a 4 inch chassis with a 2 inch razor. So it is available also on a 6 inch chassis with a 2 inch razor. Same price, um, but just lifts it up a little bit, which can be good, can be bad. It's a bit of personal choice. Alright, let's go inside and have a look around. As you can see on the way in, that's our security mesh door, which is a really nice look. No heavy wires or anything, just secure, good ventilation, looks good, and our pull down blind rather than curtains, less dust collecting. Okay, on the way in we've got our step light, switched on and off here, handle and step. And then a real feature on this caravan is our shelf here and storage cupboard right here. So we've got the two doors, we've got shelves in there, they're perfect for glasses, stubby holders, uh, sauces, things for the barbecue ideal place to store them and a good place to rest your drink or your coffee just on here. Easy access to the fridge, it's right opposite the door. We've got the Fed 184 litre automatic sensing two door fridge. So a nice big freezer, nice big fridge and it will automatically choose the power source so you never have to actually select gas or 240 or 12. Put it on automatic, it takes care of it all itself. Come inside. Hopefully you're not going to be blinded by the gazillions of lights that we do in our hilltop caravans. You don't have to have them all on, remember. You can choose the middle ones, you can choose just the edge ones. It's really up to you. And next to the bed you've got two-way switches, so you can also turn on and off the middle lights from in bed. So this one we've done with cafe seating. We can build it with L-shaped lounge as well, but cafe works really well with the bench that we've got up here. And then you've got the tripod table. Now the tripod table comes out like that. Don't try this yourself at home, it could end really badly. But as a professional, I can do it with the champagne and the glasses. And they're not fixed, there's no tricks, right there. No blue tack, just years of experience. And back it goes again. I guess it would have been funny if it would have fallen over and broken, but not for me. Okay, we've got the queen size bed. So standard caravan queen, normal queen bed width, six foot two long. We've got the Ibis 4 air conditioner. And in this one, we've done the extra big Ranger hatch. So that's got extra lights on it there. And it's the extra wide one. Of course, it's got block out blind one side and insect screen on the other side. Uh, we've got hanging space next to the bed, both sides, and nice big drawers. Nice big drawers right there, all on full ball bearing runners, as are all the drawers. And heaps of storage under the bed. So, you can have a look under there. Lots of storage, 24 inch TV, which is up here mounted next to me right now. So it comes with that, comes with the hydraulic jack, 
and it comes with the grey water hose. So they're all standing there all around here, top caravans. Down, make sure the bed's nice and tidy or I'll be in trouble. Um, coming around this way, we've got the microwave up the top here and we've got huge drawers, ball and ball bearing runners, so heaps of storage space. Same thing here, more drawers. You've got foot rests on the end of the lounge, so they pop up that way. Sometimes they pop up themselves, sometimes they don't. The supports, so they're um, for feet, they're not for sitting on. And to put them down, you've got little clips on the ends, release and down they go, really simple. Um, heaps of bench space and then the full oven. So we've got the Swift Australian made cooker. As you can see, it's got three gas and one electric burner. That pops across there. So that's bigger flame for the wok burner. And then you've got the grill and you've got the full oven. Van forced oven, I should say. Awesome. Range hood stereo. Now the way we set these caravans up is that the stereo can actually play movies to the TV. So you can put your DVD or your USB stick or hard drive connection into the stereo. You play the picture to the TV and you play the sound through the caravan speakers. You can then turn off whichever lights, middle or edge, whichever, and you've got your own little movie theatre. It's your own space, it's your own luxury apartment. It's awesome, lots of fun. Let's have a quick look at the ensuite. So, coming down the back here, we've got the Fairfield ceramic bowl toilet. We've got power hatch up here with the fan. Uh, extra lights, in case you need extra light for reading on the toilet or maybe shaving or something like that, makeup. Um, USB and 12 volt points in the bathroom, 240 volts. You've got storage over here next to the toilet. And then what you'll see is that uh, underneath, from the outside, we've got the generator hatch, so storage hatch underneath there. That's access from outside. Okay, then we've got the washing machine, the new model with the clear lid. So you can watch the washing going around if you're so inclined. And our nice big shower, again, with the power hatch. I'll just jump in here, that's got a light up there on it, as well as the fan. So um, the, the caravan comes with the Swift 28 litre Australian made hot water service. Um, the shower runs at about nine litres a minute. So comfortably get four or five minutes of showering because you've got hot and cold water mixing together for the shower. And um, they work really, really well. So when I go away in my hilltop caravan, I don't use caravan park showers. It's awesome using the uh, shower in the caravan. So that really sums up the 19 foot 6 hilltop rear door caravan. Really popular model, very comfortable, not a big van to tow, but plenty of space, plenty of storage space. It's a winner, worth a look.